Hello everybody, and welcome back to Demise of Nations, the Bennett Walks Conquest. Yeah, I'm sorry that I didn't upload this for four days. I've been trying to keep it down to three days lately. I've been trying to improve. But I've been doing a lot of stuff on the channel, live streams, I hit 2,000 subs. I had a lot of things going on, so it took four days. I am very sorry about that. But I am back today with it. So yeah, last episode we managed to take out Britain, which was, I would say, a pretty huge accomplishment. But that was the last episode. We need to figure out something to do this episode. Uh, I got a couple people saying to take out Morocco. That is a horrible idea. We'll come into use. They have my territory in Africa. That'll be taken immediately. They have too many units, and I have no cities in Africa. Because some fucking pricks took this city. So yeah, I did finally decide to just go ahead and go for Hungary. Because I always call them a great ally, but in reality, the only reason why I made an alliance with them is so they wouldn't attack me when I was taking for Germany. <clears throat> so, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and invade them. But first I need units, because I have absolutely nobody on that border. It feels so weird going back to this. Like, it really does. I've been playing a lot of, um... I'm not sure exactly any specific map. It's like the maps where... You have to, like, manage food and stuff, you know, like the ancient maps with Rome. I've been playing a lot of that. I'm not used to just making as many units as I want. But now I can finally do it. Let's get a couple of tanks for this city. And I think that we're all good. Oh, shit. Nope, we aren't all good. We've got a couple of tanks over there. Alright, so I want to try to pull off an actual Blitzkrieg. I haven't done a Blitzkrieg in this conquest yet, but I'm about to do it. So I was going to wait for a certain nation, for obvious reasons, to do this. But it's going to be a while before I declare war on Poland, because they are actually very, very powerful. They have units everywhere. I would say that they're almost on par with me. So don't want to mess with Poland yet. We'll wait for that after we take out Hungary to get a better positioning on them. But... I don't want to wait, so let's just go ahead, next turn, and Blitzkrieg Hungary. Alright, at this point, I think I'm just going to kind of forget about Britain. What they're doing is, I end up attacking one dock, and before I can actually occupy it, they'll send over the ship, take out my unit, and occupy the dock. Then when I make a unit in this city and send it over to take out this dock, they'll do the same. They'll send it back over, retake the dock, take out my unit. It's basically just an endless cycle of bullshit. It's really what it is. So, I definitely won't spend as much money on them. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and declare war on Hungary. So, I'm hoping once I do this, we will have a really good positioning on Poland. They have a lot of units around the Italian peninsula, which is the only thing really worrying me. But, I have a couple of cities along here, which is what I'm really looking at. Oh, well, this butcher is going to take a lot of time to actually do. So let's just go ahead and do it. So of course, just use the jets. Take out any units that I see. Let's go and work on that city as well. Hmm. Alright, let's just go ahead. Go for the airport. Or airfield, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> there we are. They have so many units on my border. Like, this is why it's taking so long. They have a ton of units on my border. Oh, right, that's why I sent them there. Okay, I get it. There we are. Should be it for that tank. Uh, that tank still has a life to go. So I have noticed, no matter how many tanks and machines that I make, I never run out of oil. That's just a thing with my nation. Just a thing with Benelux now. We never run out of oil no matter how much I... Like I said, no matter how many machines I make, even though I make more... I make more steel than oil, and I run out of steel more often. So, I'm kind of like in the same situation you'll find yourself in playing as the Swabs on the ancient map. You end up having so much lumber, 
having so many, oh god, I can't talk, having so many lumber yards that you can literally just fund your entire nation. You can build your entire economy on just one resource. And in this case, it's oil. And if we look here, all resources seem to be fairly scarce. Don't, don't do a scarce joke. I almost did it. But, yeah, basically resources seem to be running low, and I'm still doing well with them. So maybe I could build up a very strong economy with oil. That's what I'm thinking here. That's what I want to do. But we'll see what happens. See, does Hungary have any? Uh, they have one place. They have one place to make steel, that's it. Oh. Alright, looking here, it seems like we've pretty much cut Hungary in half. Which is good. That is very good. So, just go ahead and divide them, and then work them down. The Blitzkrieg... The Blitzkrieg... I said fucking Blitzkrieg. The Blitzkrieg seemed to work very well. It was very effective. So I will definitely be trying that again with Poland. Take out the airfield, or airport, like I said, whichever you want to say. Oh shit. Um, oh there we are. I was like, I have absolutely no units over there to counter that. There we are. And I did see a couple in the... There we are. I was about to say, I saw a couple in the Baltic Federation. Where'd they go? So I'm actually thinking next that I should declare war on the Baltic Federation before I declare war on Poland. I don't know. Like with the oil and resources, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Tunisia wants me to join the war against Greece. I will go ahead and reject that. Because... I mean, Greece doesn't look that powerful, definitely not as powerful as I am, but I just don't have a good position, like an actual position to be going up against Greece. I have absolutely no cities near them. So nope, you guys are going to have to fight your own war. I'm busy with Hungary. There we are, went ahead and took the city, freed up a jet, let's go ahead and use it on that infantry. <clears throat> Sorry if my voice sounds weird, I've... It's still going on with my throat, I'm just not feeling good. I hope that it'll be better soon, I really do. <laughs> what the fuck? Why was that necessary? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh, that's, that's definitely more, <laughs> that's more amusing than it should be. Shut up, Zero, it's not that funny. Oh, God damn it! yes it was. Why did he go all the way around to attack the city that he was right next to? Oh, Jesus Christ, I love this game. It's like, that's on par with Oblivion AI, that's what that was. Alright, we're almost done with Hungary. Almost. <clears throat> uh, Rome isn't doing too well. Let's go and send out a tank. Actually, no, let's send over a couple of jets. There we are. Uh, is Britain going to keep being a douche? Probably, but let's try it anyway. I'm going to road. There we are. So I actually do want to take a look around the map. I am th yeah, Baltic Federation is going to be next. Alright. <clears throat> also, just kind of want to stop the video and say this. I've been thinking with the, the little amount of money that I have, I kind of want to open a P.O. box. I know that sounds weird, but I kind of do. Would that be a good idea? Would you guys send me stuff if I open a P.O. box? Like anything? I don't know, I'm trying to do more things for the channel, really. Ladies and gentlemen, we have finally, finally beat Britain in this stupid little game that they decided to play. Sound it. <laughs> I can't talk. Send down infantry, take out that dock. There we go. 
They do still have a dog over. Wait. Oh, they lost it. Oh, okay. Well, there we are. So I think that's it for Britain. Yes, it is. That is it for Britain. Let's go ahead and send down another tank. Why did I say another? That's the first tank that I'm sending down. But my invasion of Hungary went a lot better than I thought that it would. I thought there would be much more resistance than that. I thought they were much powerful than I was making them out to be. But no, Hungary really was not prepared for an assault. I don't think I think they trusted me too much, honestly. But yeah, they had absolutely no chance winning that. So I'm thinking would keeping troops in the Baltic Federation before I declare war on them be a good idea? I know if you're not in an alliance with a nation and you have units in their territory, they will lose health. But it would also be kind of like a tag from the inside kind of thing. I'm thinking that I'll just attack from the outside. I don't want to waste my units. There we are. And that is it for Hungary. Like I said, that was extremely fast. I didn't expect to take them out that quick. <clears throat> Alright, now what I need to do, just go ahead, uh, not this unit, keep this unit. But I want to go ahead and destroy a couple of units, and just kind of start from scratch to start focusing on the Baltic Federation. Hmm. I don't know, I, I don't know which to go for first. You know what? It's settled. Baltic Federation, that's it. It said nothing will convince me otherwise. Baltic Federation. Cancel relations. And we won't actually be going to war with them this episode. I'll wait till next episode for that. Oh shit, my happiness. What would you actually do, like, with the. D I can't talk. With distributing money in this game? Like, how would that actually work in real life? Like, tax returns, maybe? I'm not quite sure. But either way, the people love it. Increases their happiness enough to where they don't riot. So it makes me happy. So everything works out. That's the most brainwashed fucking thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Give them money so they won't riot. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. Let's go ahead and make sure that all areas are covered. In my territory. <clears throat> I think that we're good. I really do. No, we aren't. Okay. So we're having a very big iron shortage, it seems like. Um, Baltics do have iron. I see it. Alright, that will be the main target. That's the main reason why we're declaring war. Not just because I want to. Alright, so I saw something. I'm um, looking at the info of all the nations, you know, all that good stuff. And uh, I did uh, realize something. Alright, I'll go and pull it up after I get done moving all my units, but I was kind of shocked. I was kind of shocked to see this. Go ahead and move up all my units. There we are. There's no way they're going to stand up against all those tanks. There's no way. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Uh, take care of all that. Wait, what? Fucking Ukraine. Oh my god. You know what? Nope. Nope, we're expendable. We are expendable. Fuck's sake. Um. Alright. Plane's kind of falling apart. <laughs> nope, nope, we'll work past it. But I was looking at the info thing. You see that? 69.868, you know, that would have been higher, but, you know, some <laughs> some douchebag took my city. Fucking Ukraine. Anyway, so we are at 69.868. What that means 
is that all we would have to do is take out Poland to win this. That's it. And I'm not saying that I'll declare war on them instead of the Baltic Federation. I have already committed. I already have all the units on the border with the Baltics. Like I said, I am committing to that. But let's see how much land the Baltics have. 7.645, not, not too much. But all we would need to do is take out the Baltics and Poland or Norway, either Poland or Norway, take out them as well and we win. That's it. This is done. So I do want to hear what you guys have to say for the next episode. I think in the next episode we will go ahead and end this Let's Play. So next episode, will we be invading Poland or Norway? I'll let you guys decide. You know what, let's not wait till next episode to invade the Baltics. Let's just do it this episode, get it over with. Alright, before we go to war with the Baltics, we do have a message from Greece. Please join my war against Tunisia. Will you accept? You know, when I declined Tunisia to, you know, go to war with you, I wasn't doing that because I liked you, Greece. Alright, I really wasn't. It's, um, yeah, I'm in the same situation with Tunisia, though. I have no units near their territory at all. There's no way I could go to war with them because I have no way of attacking them. So, no, you two go to war, have fun. I'm going to go to war with the Baltics. Oh, God, this looks so bad. <laughs> it looks so disorganized, all my units just all over the place. There we are. There we are. Hmm. These guys are dying extremely easy. There we are. Oh, this tank is actually... I think that should take it out. And go for the city. And we should be good over here. Now let's actually take care of the Baltics. It, well, itself. So I didn't get all my units out of the territory. I decided to try to conquer them from the inside, but the thing is, they actually have units inside their territory, as you would expect from a nation about to go to war. So, yeah, you can see how that's going to turn out. But, but I'll try to do some damage. I'm sorry about my voice today. Once again, I'm just not feeling it right now. But let's go and take them out in the next episode, either Poland or Norway. So I must admit, over time of this conquest, I've kind of forgotten about my alliance. Uh, you guys remember that? Am I the only one that forgot it? It was me, Finland, Sweden, and Russia. Well, it didn't... Ultimately, it was me, Sweden, Russia, and Poland. That was like the ultimate alliance, because, you know, Finland got conquered pretty easily by Sweden. So it was that main alliance. Benelux, Sweden, Poland, and Russia. It was such a good alliance, and I just forgot about it. Because, well, I don't really need an alliance anymore. I just kind of betray, I betray all my allies, so I don't think anybody wants to have a real alliance with me. Oh no, I just kind of forgot about that. But right now, we are doing extremely well against the Baltics. So go ahead and take out the cities, don't really worry about the airports. Hmm. Taking out the border units is actually turning out to be quite tough because I can't move units in right now. But next episode we should be able to completely take them over. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We have completely taken the Baltics, except for this little part right here. There we are. We <laughs> we have now completely taken over the Baltics. So this is actually gonna be, I'm hoping, very useful against whoever you guys want me to go to war with. Like I said, it's your guys' decision, not mine. So, we do actually have one more nation that I could go to war with. Russia. So, I mean, like I said, I'll let you guys decide. It's going to be Norway, Poland, or Russia. It has to be one of those nations. I think Norway's the least risky, but... 
I don't know, you guys, you've already heard it several times, you guys decide. So there you go, those are your three options. And once again, about the P.O. box that I mentioned, just tell me yay or nay. Whether you would send something if, for, if I open one, or if it would just be a waste of money. So I do want to hear serious feedback on that. And uh, yeah, that would be all for this episode. Let's actually take a look. 75, alright. All right. So, yep, Poland. All right, all of them are contenders. But, uh, yeah, that will be all. Thank you guys so much for watching and waiting for this episode. I know it took a while to come out. And, uh, yeah, hope that all of you have a great day. <clears throat> Sorry. Goodbye.